All right, players, we back. And I, I feel like such a goofball right now because I, I already recorded the video for the refines and your boy forgot to press the play button on the audio. So it was just me talking and not sounding good at all. My bad, guys. You got to listen to me talk without any <laughs> good music to drown me out. But regardless, we got the data mines for the bunnies. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at all of that. We also have info for our boy Michaelis and his skills and etc. Now it's also very early on, so unfortunately we don't have the full artwork for everybody. Or I'm sure we probably do, it's probably on Twitter somewhere. But I'm not able to find it on moment's notice. So we're just going to take a look at stats and skills. And we're looking at the old school infographic by Mr. Gengar and Tsukasa, the data miners. Definitely check them out, they are holding it down really well for us okay so we're gonna start off of course with the girls of the hour we got girl power here Carla and Freya so their stat line is 40 HP 45 attack 47 speed 24 defense and 22 res that gives them a 178 BST overall we're gonna come back at the end and see if boons and banes have been posted but dude 47 speed like what the hell <laughs> Didn't we just recently get to 46? Like, I, I know the Caden Nina, the Caden Nino, and also um, Caden Lindy, they just started pushing 46. Also, Alencia and Lucia had 46. So, what's going on here? We're already on 47. <laughs> we never even got a chance to settle into 46, and we're already pushing past that. So, okay, and then 45 attack, too. This unit is nutty, by the way. I'm going to have to summon to get them. This might be the best player phase melee unit in the game right now. Uh, the only downside to them is they don't really have much protection. So what they want to do is just kill whatever they initiate on with a special attack. Which is going to be very easy for them to do for the most part. But in the event that they're not able to activate a special for some reason. Like I'll give you a couple of examples. Brave Tiki would be one example where she can reduce the cooldown count. Or give you plus one cooldown count at the start of combat. So you're not able to just proc a special on Brave Tiki and units similar to her with that effect. Also, there's Lucia who just prevents specials entirely. So they're very powerful for sure. They're, they're going to dominate most things. But there are a couple of ways to catch them off guard. And them not having any defense whatsoever is not helping them in the event that they need to hit the foes twice. So th that's the one concern. However, this unit is just so nutty regardless that... I don't think it's going to matter all that much. All right, let's go ahead and move on to Triandra up next. <laughs> Thank you for putting her name tag right in front of the midriff so we can cover her up. I don't know what she's <laughs> doing dressing like that for Easter, but okay. All right, we got 37 HP. We got 43 attack, 46 speed, 18 defense, and 18 res. <laughs> so what? Freya gets 47 and then Triandra gets 46. <laughs> I don't know why they played favorites like that, but whatever. All right, her BST is 162. Not that that even matters because um, dancers just get shafted on BST anyway. So Triandra looks like a pretty good dancer. Her weapon combines really well with her um, special dance skill where she can inflict a lot of debuffs on the enemy with guard. And now she's also doing faux pen pen penalty doubler. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I can't talk. So it's a pretty good combo. Also, her new B skill is giving allies desperation and attack ups, attack and speed up six when she dances on them. The Kanto one seems to only be for her. So that's still very good, obviously. You dance on ally and then you just Kanto yourself to safety. So you can get a better positioning there. It's, it's pretty good B skill for a lot of dancers. They're going to enjoy having that. So not bad whatsoever from her. All right, let's take a look at Bernie Bear up next. So she's got 39 HP. We got 43 attack, 47 speed. What? So wh why is Triandra the black sheep of the bunch? Why, why is Bernie and Carla at 46 speed? All right, 20 defense and 25 res. It's because Triandra's cold. She got to cover up. She, she's too cold to move, right? Like she can't move at her full speed <laughs> unless she wears like a sweater or something or a turtleneck. All right, so Bernadetta, let's see here, 174 BST overall. She's pretty similar to the Winter Bernie, where she does the start of turn chip damage to the whole team. So you can start up some degenerate tactics if you want to. 
And then also, she's just better in the long run. She gets the DR just like that Winter Bernie. She's getting stats. She's also getting null follow-up. So she seems pretty good. Her stat swings are wild, too. She inflicts, like, speed and defense minus 11 on the enemy, potentially. And then she's still getting all stats of 5, too. So th this is definitely a unit to watch out for. All right, let's go ahead and move on to Ash up next. <laughs> Looking like Goku here with those colors. All right, so Ash has 40 HP, 43 attack, 46 speed, 32 defense, and 17 res. That gives him a 178 BST. I guess in Ash's case, the reason why he only has 46 speed and the other two girls have 47 is because he's a man, right? He's a second-class citizen in the eyes of Insys, apparently, so he just... He's not able to move at their speed. So what is there to say about Ash? He's a pretty solid fodder pull, actually. He's got attack and speed catch three and then attack and speed rain three. And then his weapon is okay. It's not like the worst dagger in the world. It gives you 30% DR and then attack and speed of five. But it certainly it's not going to be able to hold up to whatever arcane dagger we get in the long run. So I would say take his weapon with a grain of salt. But the attack and speed catch 3 is going to be very good fodder if you pull him. And you don't want to pull him. <laughs> you can at least use it to get the level 4. So not too bad, at least for fodder. Okay, and finally we have our man here, Michaelis. The final Macedon bunny. So th this is pretty exciting for a lot of people. We got the full completed family. Hopefully they get a nice story in the story mode. It, it would be really cool to see Minerva and Michaelis actually getting along for once. And, of course, Maria would be the bridge to get them to work together. So we got here 43 HP, 45 attack, 32 speed, 47 defense, and then 17 res. Holy defense. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. 47 defense, 45 attack. He's kind of slow. I thought he would have been a little bit faster, actually, because we'll, we'll take a look at his skills in a second. But he has attack and speed snag, and then he's got... A weapon that grants attack and speed. I thought he was going to be faster than this, but okay. I, I would much prefer him just go all in with defense anyway. So I guess... How good is this guy going to be, I wonder? 184 with the BST. That Had he been like two points higher, that would have been really relevant. Because then he would have jumped into the 190 bin. And we, we don't have a flyer in the 190 bin that's free to play and buildable like this. So th that would have been really good if they just gave him two extra points, <laughs> but that's not the case. So unfortunately for him, he's going to be stuck in the 185 bin. Not really super relevant anymore. We're already getting 190 free-to-play scorers like Lumera and etc. So le let's go ahead and take a look at his stuff. So we have his artwork too. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. All right, so here's the neutral artwork for Michaelis there. Looks all right. Very pink for some reason. I, I wouldn't have expected him to dress in pink. I would have, or lavender or whatever this is. I would have thought he'd go for more like a red look. All right, here's the attacking artwork. Pretty good pose there. All right, then the special attack artwork. Th this one's got a nice effect to it. And finally, we got the injured artwork there. Pretty good. Not too bad for Michaelis's art. Okay, here are his skills. So we have Hair's Lance Plus. It's essentially... Oh, actually, no, it doesn't do attack and speed. It does attack and defense up 5. And then 40% DR on the enemy's first hit. So it's a little bit better than Ash's dagger. But it, this is not going to be like a go-to lance, unfortunately. Lances are pretty stacked. So I, I would say that this is not going to be like your top priority inheritable lance. We also have a rearmed lance already. So <laughs> this one's just not competing with that. He's got Swap, he's got IO Shield, and then he's got Attack and Speed Snag 3. I, anyone's guess is as good as mine why he has this. And then IO Shield, um... I guess every Michaelis ever is just destined to have IO Shield, sure. Okay, le they couldn't give him something like the baby Minerva had, where she had IO Shield and then, like, a bunch of stats. I, I think hers was called Dragoon Shield. Yeah, they, they couldn't do that for him, at least. That, that just sucks. That, that's dumb. How come we don't get perf passive skills for the free-to-play units anymore? I know it's only happened once with that Minerva, but it would be nice to get some more perf passives instead of, like, dookie like this. Attack and speed snag three. Who wants this anymore? There's not even a level four of that, so it's not even good fodder. Like, come on, man. 
All right, so here are the inheritance levels now. Of course, the weapon's at five star. Swap is at four star. IO Shield is at four star. And then Snag is at five star. Actually, wait, is Snag at four star also? That's kind of weird. It, it seems like all his stuff is available at four star besides the weapon. Very interesting. Okay, all right, sure. I guess you could get both of those in one shot if you wanted. All right, so for Ash, we have four star attack and speed catch. That's perfect. That's what we want. And then he's got attack and speed rain three at five star. That's fine by me. I'd rather take the catch at four star. Okay, so Bernie, she has escape route. Let's see what the restrictions are. None. <laughs> no restrictions whatsoever. That's that's really strong, man. That's what I thought it would have been because escape route and wings of mercy can be given to anybody. Any movement type, any weapon type. So <laughs> you can now give Kanto to whoever you want. You can give it to staff units even, which is pretty interesting. You can give it to like range, like cavalry units. Cavalry range units can have Kanto 1 now instead of near trace. Like it's a little tr bit of a trade-off though. Like sometimes near trace with the Kanto Rem can be better if you're not moving your maximum movement before you attack. But if you are, then Kanto 1 is absolutely better. So this is a really good skill, man. Don't sleep on Escape Route 4. I don't think anyone was, but certainly a skill you're going to get a lot of mileage out of. So that's good. Okay, and then finally we have our Tempest Trial Sacred Seals here. So we have Speed and Defense Ideal and then Attack and Speed Oath. Both pretty solid. I mean, I, I'm not the biggest fan of Oaths until they get to level 4. But Speed and Defense Ideal will definitely take more Ideal Seals. The Ideal Seals are pretty good. So that, those are the Tempest Trial Seals, and let's just double back here to see if we have the Boons and Banes posted yet. I gotta learn how to calculate the Boons and Banes myself, because there is a way to do it when you have the level 1 stats, but I'm just, like, too much of a dummy to figure it out. Okay, they're, they're not posted there, so let's just go ahead and refresh here and see if we have any new information. Let's see if I missed anything. Carla can get two speed from level up. Interesting. Okay, that's... You know who that reminds me of? Karel from FE6, where he's got like 190 growth rates on some of his stats. That Karel from FE6 would be an interesting unit to get. For sure. Yeah, it doesn't look like Boons and Banes have been posted yet, so I, I don't really know what to say about Boons and Banes here, but I... Hopefully, Carla and Bernie don't have super boons on speed, because that would be just stupid. But that's going to wrap us up for this video here, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed the coverage on the bunny units. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I'll catch y'all again when the banner drops for some summons.